Hi, I'm Mark Johnson, and our um, barn project is uh, is continuing here. Um, a couple weeks ago, uh, we were monkeying around with this old hay door, trying to get it open when it was 90 degrees outside, and it was probably 100 in here. So anyway, we finally got that thing to work, and now we're fixing the um, the damages inside. Uh, caused by this um, <clears throat> little hole in the roof here, which <clears throat> rotted out um, a couple of different things. It took out this um, here member and um, a couple rafters and uh, and this post also. So we've um, we've replaced it by laminating several um, members together here, and instead of using a mortise and tenon joint up here. We've used a steel um, strap to hold them two together, and later on we're gonna we're gonna double up this rafter with a new one. Um, well, actually, it's a new member, but it's reclaimed material. It's we try to use all reclaimed material in our restoration, so it looks um, close to original. Uh, so we'll put a reclaimed member here and some barn boards. Uh, which will also be reclaimed. We're going to lay those over there and patch in the roof um, sheathing where that's um, rotted out. And then um, in order to pull this back to where we were, think it was, we've uh, installed a two-ton winch there. And, and I'm pretty sure that we're going to have to leave cables here over here we've already um, put a, um, a cable next to this one so we can take out the winch and we're going to leave the cable installed here. After, um, we, got, we can tighten it up a little bit more. But <clears throat> the way this barn was designed, um, it had some flaws in the uh, engineering, uh, shall we say. Most structures have a, a tie beam that goes through the middle of the building, like that one down there. And that helps to um, hold the uh, walls in place and resist the downward pressure of the roof. This one here was built kind of at the end of the timber framing area, era, I should say. And they actually started using some steel rods. You can see one down there the a horizontal one and then there's one that follows that timber up to the post up there and uh, it's it didn't really um, do its job the the roof is bowed outward and there's a huge sag in the peak of the roof from one end to the other it's probably a good foot and <clears throat> we thought we could winch it back together using these uh, winches here and it's just not going to happen. Um, we'll probably break something if we continue with the, with the winching or use bigger, more powerful winches. So anyway, in order to make it look as good as we can, we're going to use a different approach. We'll still put some cables in here to hold it in place because we're uh, re-roofing the the structure with steel roofing we can put nailers on the roof on the top side that'll be shimmed up and make the roof appear straighter than it really is so we're going to use we're going to use that uh, to um, make it look like the roof is straight and the cables will keep it from getting worse we're going to put um, cables over on that side between uh, those two posts and these two posts in the middle after we pull it together a little bit and um, That'll take a little bit of the sag out of the roof, but Not gonna take all of it out So that's um, I guess that's plan B and uh, we'll be um, Working on that next week. We're actually putting some of the steel on the roof right now and um, I'll show you what that looks like uh, Maybe tomorrow.